Opit camp, home to 50,000 displaced Ugandans who have been forced from their homes and into camps by the ongoing armed rebellion in the northern region of the country, a conflict spanning nearly 20 years. Over a million and a half people live in camps like this one. Conditions in the camps are a humanitarian crisis. Malnourishment and disease are common, and individuals and families must rely on international assistance in order to survive. In the fall of 2005, Voices for Global Change, a U.S.-based not-for-profit, began an initiative in Opit and two other camps in the Gulu district. Called Paper to Pearls, the project is providing an opportunity for women and men in the camps to earn income through the creation and sale of bead necklaces made from recycled paper. Working through a local Ugandan organization, which has organized the women into cooperatives, Paper to Pearls is the first initiative of its kind in the camps. Having a market for a product that they can inexpensively produce has created a sense of anticipation and even excitement among the women. New women are joining the cooperatives as Paper to Pearls has begun to place regular orders for necklaces. It takes about four days to train a new artisan. The beads for the necklaces are usually made from the pages of unused calendars. Each page is carefully scored and then cut in long triangular strips. The paper strips are rolled into beads. Each bead is secured with glue. The beads are varnished for sheen and durability, hung to dry, and then reassembled into necklaces. Thus the only color that a necklace has results from the colors in the paper from which the beads are made. Joyce Locker represents the local organization that sponsors the cooperatives. She sells the women the paper they use to make the necklaces and help them determine the prices they would charge for the different necklace lengths and styles. She says one unexpected benefit of the Paper to Pearls project is how it's bringing the women together to talk as they work, enhancing a sense of community and mutual sharing. That wouldn't regularly happen unless there was work at hand for them to do together. The Paper to Pearls initiative has an additional component. There are two important aspects of the Paper to Pearls initiative. First, the income from the sale of the necklaces enables the women in the camps to buy additional food and medicine and to pay school fees for their children and to enhance their lives on a daily basis. But in addition, and this is a critical component of the Paper to Pearls project, a large percentage of the net revenue from the sale of the necklaces will go back to the camps in the form of education and training and entrepreneurship development. A defining aspect of the New Horizons program is that Voices for Global Change will be setting up coordinating committees in the camps made up of women from the cooperatives and other people in the camps interested in the training. Voices will provide an executive coordinator, but it's extremely important to work through the coordinating committees in defining the training that will be of most value to the people in the camps. We've been very gratified by the response to the necklaces. Everyone talks about how handsome they are, and invariably someone will say, I can't believe they're made of paper. And people do respond to the Paper to Pearl story, and the idea that they are helping the women in the camps, and enabling them to improve their lives on a daily basis. <laughs> The Paper to Pearls necklaces will soon be available in retail stores around the country and can currently be purchased on our website at www.papertopearls.org. Voices for Global Change was founded on the belief that when people who had no voice speak, they change their world. Our work supports and gives guidance to women, youth, and any group that has been marginalized from full participation in the economic, political, and social life of their communities and countries. Oh, Hey